Hi, I'm Tom, W8JI. Please don't mind the roughness of this unedited, unedited uh, video, but I just felt like I had to get this video up on YouTube, and uh, with all my time limitations, I really didn't have a lot of time to go through it and clean everything up and edit it. Uh, but this video will show the problems caused by uh, poor neutralization and how repairing the neutralization fixes these problems. Okay, this is the same amplifier and it also doesn't work right on 10 meters. The, as I tune the plate control, this is how you can tell one's out of neutralization. As I tune the plate control through resonance and watch the exciter, I'm tuning the plate control you see the um, SWR and the power on the radio moving all over the place. This means it's also out of neutralization. Okay, so I have a tool right here that has a slot in it. And this fits, uh, the slot fits over the butterfly plate. So now let's watch what happens here as I connect this and adjust the neutralization. Okay, so now the bar is connected to one of the flapper plates, and we'll go around here to the front and we'll watch the grid current. I'm gonna push down on my adjustment tool. I'm just gonna slightly push down on it and pull that, that flapper plate away from the tube a little bit and see the grid current going way up. There we go. Now I've released pressure on it a little bit. So we can see that, that the grid current, as I push down and pull the plate away from the tubes, the grid current goes way up. So what I'm going to have to do is bend both the plates out a little bit until I, get, until I get maximum grid current with minimum change in exciter power as I tune. Okay, now it's, I've bent the plates and it's properly neutralized. I can have a lot more grid current here. I'll load it to about the normal grid current using a tuning pulser. This has a, a TOF in the amplifier. And then let's watch the radio as I tune the uh, plate. I'm going through resonance now. And back and forth through resonance and the SWR is barely changing. It isn't perfect but it's like maybe 1.3 to 1, but the SWR is just, let's zoom in. The SWR is barely changing now as I go through resonance with the plate. This is when it's properly neutralized. Neutralizing this amplifier has now fixed 15 meters. Now I get, when I tune the plate control, I can go through a minimum, and then when I go past 10 around, I come up to another maximum. On the higher bands, like uh, 15 and 10 meters, you should see that you have two peaks here. One before, you, just before you get to 10, one just after you get to 10. So neutralization has fixed what initially appeared to be a tank coil problem.